What to do, you two? My name is Jinxed, and I'm playing Minecraft once more. But this is going to be a very short-lived series, and I will tell you why. Because currently, I kind of can't type. Well, I can't. I'm just too lazy. But that would defeat the purpose of this video and/or series. And what I'm going to be calling this is Controller Craft. And for that reason is because, as we all know, especially people that follow Minecraft quite a lot, is that eventually it will be on the Xbox. It'll probably look different, of course, and whatever. And it'll um, you know, I might render differently, it might look incredibly differently, who knows. Because pretty much Notch gave that project over to someone else. No, he signed the license agreement, it will be coming to Minecraft, it will also be, I think from what I've heard, once again, from what I've heard, it'll only be playable on the Kinect. And, uh, so I took the liberty of doing, since I have a program called XPatter on my computer, and for, uh, the N64 stuff I do, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I bound most of the controls for Minecraft to a controller so I can play it on a controller. And what the series really is going to be, it's just kind of like, for my own personal experience, is, uh, see, like, like, kind of a, co a comparison, I guess. Like, if it feels more natural to be playing with a controller, in my opinion, you know, like, controller versus keyboard and mouse, like, that whole thing. And I got a really weird world. I have this weird little pool here. I kind of want to explore just because that's what I do in every world I do. I don't really like to build near spawn. Can I even sprint? Yeah, I can sprint still. Good. Okay. I'm on pre-release 4 as you saw. Like I said, this is either going to be like a one video thing or a few video thing. But yeah, I doubt it's going to last long just because this is me kind of messing around with the... Uh, holy shit. This is the first time I've ever found a snow biome. Awesome. Well, this is where I'm going to live then. Oh my god, and a wolf. That's like the first time I found a wolf. <laughs> Seriously, in forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. There are going to be a lot of different things that you'll probably notice in my playstyle if you watch any of my other Minecraft videos. Is that like, uh... I get lazy. Because I kind of messed around with this a little bit uh, already previously in a stream that me and Ryder did. Uh, it didn't last long, it was just on his stream, but it's technically for both of us, for whenever we're both on. So it's kind of like, he streams while I host the server for us to play together, and that type of thing. And, um, but, so, uh, like, I get lazy, like, I, I cut corners a lot, like, most of the time I will fully dig out a tree. And if I can't do it, like, with the controller, I'm like, screw it, because that'll be way too much work and way too much time. But I, uh, let me go ahead and really quick and describe my controller setup. That way, like, you all can get an idea of it. Uh, I, I, I have this very, like, FPS-based, like, COD-based, if you will. Like, my, uh, right trigger is my mouse one button. And, you know, if I hold it, I break stuff. Uh, my l right bumper is to place stuff. My, uh, left trigger is to shift. I don't have anything set to my right trigger, I believe. Yeah, there's nothing set to my right trigger. Um, my A is jump, or I don't know what it would be on Xbox, I guess, yeah, that'd be an A, my A is jump, my, uh, okay, well, that's another crouch button, I don't know why that's set, my, uh, I think X on the Xbox controller, I'm not using an Xbox controller, I'm just saying for, like, my uh, left button, you know, on your button scheme, which I believe on the Xbox controller is X, is my Q, which is drop, my Y is my inventory, uh, my start button is my start button, and that's pretty much it. Oh shit, I didn't mean to place those down. So I can fully play Minecraft. It's pretty easy to map to a controller to, like, your liking, and I figure just for, like, uh, not wrong button. Just for comparison results, I would bind it more to, like, the standard FPS, uh, layout that, like, most people use, and that your right trigger is to do, like, actions and interact with the world, your, uh, you know, bottom button, your A, I believe, or, I believe it's A, at least, on the Xbox controller, is your jump, you know, so that's how you get around, your right stick is to move, your left stick is to look, I have my sensitivity way down, though, just because, uh, for building purposes, really, and this wolf is honestly helping me out hardcore, thank you, wolf, now I don't have to kill sheep and chase them around, which is good, but yeah, so, I don't make turns as fast as I could be, and it's just because, like, when I'm building stuff, I want to be able to have full control. And if I get used to it more, 
I might turn up the sensitivity here in a bit and like, you know, crank it up a little bit so I can maybe do more appropriate actions and things of that nature. But currently, I'm just going to leave it as is. I still do my tree cheating jump. That way I don't miss a block and I don't have to waste a block by jumping on top of the, uh, you know, bark under me. Alright, well, let's get started. This is like, like, you know, just reiterating again really quick. This is going to be maybe a one episode, four episode, five episode thing. I doubt this is going to go on long unless a few guys want me to continue to play with a controller, which I wouldn't see how that would make the series any different, but if you all want, I will gladly just continue on with it. I'm going to try and kill the sheep so I can have a bed really quick. Oh my god, see, this is kind of already a little bit harder. I need a take my time to get criticals. There we go. Okay. Hell yeah. See, I pick it up with left trigger and then right trigger I use to, you know, like place individual blocks and split stuff. So it's it's pretty easy to get accustomed to, to be honest. Um, there's some coal down there that I could use. I guess I'll just put this there. That works. Um, Oh, wrong button. There you go. I got a bed. Oh. oh. I had to break this stuff? Are you shitting me? Wow, I did. I have my D-pad also. I forgot to explain this part. I have my D-pad set up to my mouse scroll so I can scroll through the uh, options of, uh, you know, my, my utility bar down there, if you will. Or whatever you guys call it. Your toolbar, your taskbar, your utility bar. I honestly can't think of what I would have called it in the past, but yeah, that bar down there. See, now I'm shifting, I'm looking, and I'm placing. Like, uh, I, I, I kind of hated the idea first, even though, like I said, this is for, uh, honestly, this is kind of pointless if you want to get technical, but I kind of wanted to just go ahead and do it because... I pulled out the old controller for the N64 and retro stuff that I'm going to be doing now. And I figured, hey, why not make like my own little uh, personal uh, comparison type video series of me playing a Minecraft on a controller for a while and just like, you know, describe, you know, what it's like for me. Uh, but to honestly, to anyone that's watching this that has an Xbox 360, I'm pretty sure Fortress Craft feels the same way. It's, you know, it's a little bit clunky, it's a little bit slower, because, you know, aiming's a little bit weird. I used to, uh, when I'm using a mouse and keyboard, I notice I do a lot of uh, moving and uh, aiming at the same time, so I can, like, keep hitting this box and then move so I don't have to move again. And like, you know, I'll do that. And I've been trying to do that, but I keep fucking up, which is kind of funny. Which, in that re in that respect, is, a uh, I like, uh, mouse and keyboard for that better for, uh, you know, accuracy and things of that nature. But I mean, so far, like, really, honestly, there aren't too many complaints. I mean, it, it lets me, I don't have to, like, be sitting up and, you know, uh, there's my house. Oh, there's my house. I don't have to be sitting up and... Do I seriously have three cobblestone? Holy shit, I need more than that. Um, I don't have to be sitting up and, you know, like, uh, be at my desk. You know, I'm kind of leaning back in my couch currently playing this. Actually, let me make sure my mic's on now that I think about that. And it is. Hell yeah. Sorry. Um, you know, it's letting me take a more relaxed approach to the game, which is kind of new and different and interesting kind of cranks it up in a different way just like uh, I explained in one of the Majora's Mask videos that got uh, erased because there wasn't any actual commentary in it because my video fucked up uh, I talked about how uh, kind of weird it is to do commentaries when with controllers like I know there are a lot of people out there that only do them with controllers because like you know they do Xbox games or whatever but I just like I guess you could say I can't do it just cuz like it's just so weird like uh I don't feel like I'm properly doing like a commentary I guess you could say or not like a proper one but I mean like 
It doesn't feel as natural to me. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what I'm looking for. It doesn't feel as natural to me, shit, when I'm doing it with a controller. I just feel more comfortable because I grew up on a PC and I grew up playing PC stuff. I just feel more comfortable uh, doing it on keyboard mouse rather than something else. Need more wood for the roof of my house, so figured I'd come and do this really quick. Oh shit. Well, fuck it. Don't care. I didn't do my little cheat, so I'm just gonna miss that piece of wood. Oh well. Oh wow, small tree. Let's fucking cheat it right here. Somehow. And a can. Nice. Well then, looks like I actually need to hurry up and head back home. After I chop down this tree, I will. Sprinting may or may not still be your all's best friend, but double tapping up on a joystick feels more kind of comfortable and natural than double tapping W and holding it, in my opinion. So in that respect, if notch doesn't change that, uh, sprinting is going to be a lot nicer via controller than via mouse. But like I said, pretty much this is pointless because from what I've been told, once again, what I've been told, I don't know this personally, but uh, Minecraft for the Xbox is going to be used with the Kinect solely. I'm not sure if they will have like an alternative, like hey, you can use a controller, but from what I've heard, it's the person that told me about it let me reiterate that again, said solely that uh, it is for uh, Kinect only and that it's going to be Kinect used only and that you do pretty much everything with the Kinect, you do your digging with it and all that jazz and there's no alternative but honestly the dude that I heard it from can sometimes be pretty unreliable so don't take too much into that, take that information with a grain of salt or the whole jar of salt, <laughs> if you will. Now let's make some torches really quick. Yeah, so, it doesn't feel that bad, or it doesn't feel that awkward. It does feel kind of weird, but not, like, too weird. Uh, I don't take time as much, like, when I'm building to make perfectly, uh, like, square... Um, places as much. I just try. I just kind of eyeball it and then complete it. And if it's not like perfectly square to where I can have like a perfect middle door, I kind of say f it. And if I do, you know that's cool. Oh, oh. Give me. I can't place the door if there's snow there. Fuck you, snow. All right. <clears throat> so we don't die or get attacked. Uh, good. Awesome. Apparently, I got attacked. Well then, let's make a quick stone sword. Apparently I got attacked, but the monster spawned outside. You know, that's fun. What the fuck? Did I do something? Uh... Okay. Weird. I've never had that happen to me before. Awkward. Kidding me. <clears throat> it's easier to, uh. I find myself spamming less, like when it comes to fighting, or er, being better at spamming. Like, I miss a lot less because I strafe rather than move my mouse. So, I mean, that's kind of a plus, I guess you could say. That, uh. I am more accurate. Dude, is there something, like, under? Uh, which a lot of people, um, if you're, like, a hardcore gamer about aiming and stuff, like, uh, you will tend to hear, if you ever try and get advice from them, like, you will tend to hear them to say, move into the shot, don't move your cursor. And mainly what that is for is, like, so, uh, like, you want to get, you know, your cursor on their head, you know, for the perfect headshot or whatever. And this is old school gaming too. I'm not talking like, you know, any new games like COD, but like back in the day. That was the thing to do is you'd get your like scope or your, you know, cursor to where their head would be. 
and you wouldn't move your mouse. You would strafe and then fire, you know, accordingly to get your, like, headshots and your kills. Alright, I really want it to be daytime so I can go explore some more. And it's not working for me, and I don't know why. Maybe, like, I keep thinking something... Alright, whatever, I'm just going to move my bed. Come here, bed. Thank you. I'm just going to put some more torches, torches around to hopefully, uh... Actually, I want to make a, uh... shovel really quick because I want to make some snow golems because I've never done it before. Alright, I need eight snow. Shit. Alright, that should be good. Right? Oh, wrong button. Yep, 16 snow. That's perfect. Oh, wrong button again. Damn it. Alright. Now let's go to sleep. It has to be daytime now. Yep. Alright, well then. I need to get some food. Hey look, chicken. Oh shit. Dead. Alright. Remember real quickly, there were more chickens around somewhere. Yep, there's one. There's a sheep, but I don't really care about sheep. <clears throat> uh, another thing I notice while my dog hacks up, which I'm not sure if y'all can hear yet, because honestly I haven't checked any of the videos where I talk about it. Um, <clears throat> poor dog. Uh... I look around a lot less, like, I use my eyes more on the screen rather than, like, you know, focusing on the center, and then where I'm looking is where I'm looking. It's like, I'll just look this way, and then, like, my eyes looking actually at the cave over there on the left, and, like, I use my, uh, peripheral vision to stay up here on the edge, and then, like, you know, I'm inspecting the, uh, cave over there, that type of thing. Rather than, like, the, you know, just always kind of my dude moving, checking stuff out, staying on the center of the screen. And the center of the screen is where I'm looking. And when I'm, like, trying to tell you guys something or show you guys something, like, that cave over there. And I'll swing, trying to, like, point you to it, showing you that it's in the middle of my screen. <coughs> just, like, is that a cave over there? Right, right there? Kind of looks like to me. But I'm going to go ahead and cook this chicken first really quick. And eat this chicken. Actually, I'm gonna cook the chicken. I'm gonna go check this out and then come back after. <clears throat> but yeah, it looks like there's a little indention of a cave over there. Whether it's actually a cave or whether it's just indention, we will find out. There goes my sick dog again. I'm sorry, doggy. And is that like a black sheep or is that a cow? I guess it's a gray sheep. Oh, and this is just a wall of stuff. So, yeah. There was, shit, there was a lot of sheep over here, though. Jesus, there's a lot of sheep over here. Hi, sheep. Ooh, chickens. Give me this. Kill all chickens. Thank you. If there was an egg around, I'd be happy about that. But, oh well. Jesus Christ, look at all the chickens. Hell yeah, this would be my dreamland, because I honestly love chicken. Oh my god. Okay, see this? <laughs> right there, that's not good. That is, when aiming at smaller targets, is where I prefer a keyboard or mouse. Oh, what else can there be in comparison? Um, oh, look, cows. I'll take some cows. Poink. Poink. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, my God. Die. Thank you. I'm not going to kill anymore, because that's going to take way too long. All right, let's go back home. Um, what else can I compare about really quick? can't sprint currently, because I don't have any, uh... But yeah, I don't mind either way. Uh, it's a pretty nice way to play. Um, I'm more comfortable when it comes to the aiming and uh, the uh, the aiming and the combat when it comes to and okay or not so much combat. Okay, so aiming 
like describing and looking around, I prefer keyboard and mouse. Uh, building, keyboard and mouse. Fighting and combat, I prefer a controller. And movement, I can I uh, prefer a controller. Just because instead of having to have two keys on one button to strafe and go forward, you know, I just tilt the analog stick in that direction. And, uh, what else can I talk about really quick before I forget? Also, kind of like the way I have it set up so I can actually still look around, move, and have shift on. That's pretty nice the way I have that set up. Um, hmm. Well, I actually guess that's it because not a lot I else can compare. So, yeah, like I said, this is probably only going to be like a 15 to 25 minute video or so. But, yeah, so now you guys know my opinion and how it feels for me personally and where I see the difference and which one, you know, excels more. And uh, I guess that's it. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.